Any question? Ito bang napasa mo, sir? What's your question? Yes, uh, I posted the uh, the module one quiz uh, uh, around five o'clock to this group chat. Yes, Okay, there's a request. Can you all, if if you can all mute yourselves? Hello, take your quiz, everybody. What time is it? I'm doing a quiz. Yes, I'm slow motion and sounds. Slow motion. Where's your bio? Over there. Over market place. Hola, si mo ako. Mixture ko. Quiz na mo.
Sir, excuse me. Yes, go ahead. Uh, sir, pwede mo leave sa ako. Kadali, sir. Kadali na ako magamit akong camera pag na ako sa Zoom. That's okay. Okay po. You can come back anytime. Thank okay you. pa, thank you. Saba, mga kayo mo good. Oh. Ah, nasa ko yung Saba, dere. Classmate, nako. Ang cellphone, dere lang cellphone, mama. Say, pagwapo eh.
it's now 6.20 and I think there's about uh, almost 15 who have submitted. Okay, that's, that's less than half of you who are present right now. So I'll give you another five minutes to finish up and post. Okay, so we'll start discussion at 6.25 p.m. Asa demo, ano naman mali ko, Lorma? Lorma, no?
Are we ready? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So let's start yes, discussion. sir. For those who haven't posted yet, yes, just sir. post it. Uh, yes, okay. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, so, sir. Can you see me now? <laughs> can you see me now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, we'll, re we'll go back to the lecture for module one. Okay, you've seen it, so let's discuss it as you read it, or whichever goes faster, okay? So mathematics in our world for module one. Definition of math, okay? So math was studied by the ancient Greeks, so they get to use their words, okay? So what does it, uh, mathematics mean from the old Greek words, uh, two Greek words, uh, fund of learning. Or in Cebuano, ganahan sa pagkatbon. Okay, self-explanatory. So the simple definition of math is uh, mathematics is the study of numbers, shapes, and pattern. Study uh, mga numero, forma, o sumbanan. Okay. Uh, this is different compared to what you've experienced from elementary and high school, wherein you've studied, I think, mostly the numbers. Okay. We usually associate num a math with uh, numbers. And more often than not, we perceive them as difficult. So... I am here to find a way for you to gain a better understanding and acceptance of math. Okay, in the uh, in the long term expectation or in the long term objective of of course, like the first question I asked, do you want to get rich? No. So of course we want to succeed in life. We're in one of the main uh, one of the main. Uh, uh, measure is the, uh, the the money in the bank or the being rich, right? Okay, so we want to use math as a tool okay, to gain um, success in life. Okay, so moving on, mathematics is basic to the physical and biological sciences, engineering and IT, economics and the social sciences. Okay. Basic in many uh, we will have a difficult understanding of the biological and physical sciences engineering engineering and it if we don't understand math we will have difficulty maglisudta right so so it is best really to have a bigger grasp and understanding and mastery of math if possible Okay, so basic to the physical, so karanan sa physical, bio, biological, science, engineering, IT, etc. So those words are in Cebuano. Okay, so what are the physical sciences? Okay, some of these words you have uh, passed through in high school. They're in physics, chemistry, astronomy, which is the study of the stars, geology, which is the study of the 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 earth and its physical attributes okay so the physical sciences which are mainly the study of non living things right so we will not understand these things if we don't grasp or understand math at least okay so other studies or biological sciences namely biology botany Genetics, microbiology, biochemistry, zoology, or namely the study of living things. Okay, we will not be able to understand those. No, uh, maybe right now your your main your your main course of study is uh, HM or 
uh, hotel management or TM, travel management, or BA, business ad, IT. Okay? All of this, we need a better understanding of math. Okay? Uh, moving on, engineering sciences. Civil engineering, electrical engineering, mechanical, chemical, etc. Okay? So, we need math, math, and math, okay? Uh, economy. Okay. Economy, what, what's economy mean? Meaning uh, the movement of money in, in our society, okay? Uh, which uh, pertains to education, health, finance, etc. Why? What's, what's the connection between economy and education, okay? We will not be able to to uh, to understand the 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 degree of the health of our money if we don't understand. And install the money. Get to be educated. Okay. Same with health and finance. <laughs> what are the social sciences? Social sciences. Okay. Human services. Of course, we all know uh, the department of. Uh, uh, the Department of Social Welfare and Development. Okay, these are human services. History. Okay. History study. Gabi, or past. Gabi ka naman Anthropology. Studying the the ano the, the, the way uh, living things, or namely the human beings, developed over the years. Psychology, okay. uh, psychology, sociology, political sciences. So these are the studies of human variation in times and space. Okay. What are the significance? We cannot understand all these things if we do not know math. Okay. Math have five basic characteristics. They are uh, precision, definition, reasoning, coherence, and purposefulness. In Cebuano, precision is a katukma. Do we have a better word that we can understand more about precision? Okay. Precision in math, meaning more or less in sakto, right? Uh, definition, meaning uh, when we define a number, it should be clear as to what it is. It is properly defined. Okay, math should there should be reasoning in math because the the sequence of let uh, of uh, numbers in 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 our lives should more or less uh, uh, be connected. Okay, how many times, uh, uh, let's say our wealth, how, how do we connect our wealth, whatever wealth we have right now, to the, the wealth of, let's say, uh, from our forebears or our parents. No? So there should be reasoning because of something we have this. Okay? Coherence, panagi usat, and purposefulness, katuyuan. Okay, that's math. Earlier, there was a definition that mathematics is a study of numbers. Now, we have really find that math is the science okay, of order, patterns, structure, and logical relationships. Okay. So, if we have, of course, during elementary and high school, we just were taught the uh, the numbers, then the major function, the adding, subtracting, multiplication, and division. And now, we are saying that math is more than that, and much, much more than that. There should be language and relationships <coughs> in the mathematical uh, in the mathematical understanding of the world. Okay? So it's much more complex now. So much lisod. 
and I am here to try to make it as simple as possible to you. So if you have questions, just ask. Okay. Uh, I hope you're looking at the uh, lecture download. Okay. Uh, that's where I am basing my discussion. Okay. So next we have the patterns in nature. There's a large picture wherein there's a series of small objects or photographs all connected. And there's what? 24 of them. Okay. First is a pink flower. Second is a drop of water. Third is a singular flower. Okay. One that has four petals. The, the fourth one picture, I believe, is a photo of a jellyfish. Okay. Fifth is a uh, flower. Sixth is a butterfly. Okay. All pictures of nature. And they are more or less, you can determine that there's a pattern in them. They are just not random. Okay. The, flower, the first picture, the flower, the pink flower, it's, it's, it's symmetrical, it's beautiful, it's patterned to a certain shape. No? So, this, how can we understand math from this? So, from the ancients, from the old, old Greeks who started the study in math, okay, they look at this natural uh, uh, objects and discern, you know, they studied and and and, uh, and discerned and said that oh that pattern there should be relationships and those relationships can be simplified okay so can you imagine when people say that math is a simplification Okay. All of the, the na nature's objects and even the the uh, uh, and even the the world that we live in that are natural the houses the cars they are not natural they are man made but they are all based on designs from nature and nature simplified as a math okay we cannot create houses and roads and uh, cars without the study of math, okay? So the patterns in math is a set of numbers arranged in a sequence, okay? Mga numero nga gihanay. Sa usta ka hanay nga, okay? Arranged in a sequence, gisumpay-sumpay, okay? They are arranged, uh, uh, sa isa sa usag usa usag usa okay related to each other in a specific rule so example if a uh, a circle the shape of a circle okay that circle uh, is made up of numbers okay then the relation between those numbers there's a specific rule specific to a circle okay so example, what is the formula of a uh, the area of the circle? Pi r squared, in which r is the radius, or the radius, which is the distance from the center point of the circle, okay, a straight line to the side of the circle. That's a radius, no? So there's a specific rule, okay? So... So, so uh, they're related. So there's patterns, okay, from nature, then set into a rule and made into an equation, okay. So the circle now is defined as its area is pi r squared, or maybe it's a perimeter, which is two pi r or two d, uh, or pi d or pi and the rate uh, the diameter, okay. So there's math is based on the study of nature. Okay, let's be clear about that. So what are common patterns? Okay, common patterns are a logic pattern, 
wherein the figures of the geomet geometric shapes have a sense of pattern. Common geometric shapes are the triangle, the square, the uh, uh, the five-sided uh, uh, heptagon and the six-sided hexagon. Okay, there's a sense of pattern in geometric shapes and based on logic. Okay, so even circles in circles of the same diameter. That object that you can see on the right side, beside the triangle and the square, okay, there's a sense of pattern. And they are all, they are all can be identified through math. Okay. Number pattern. Number pattern is a list or a set of numbers that follow a certain sequence or arrangement. Okay. So when with the numerical sequence, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, etc. So there's a pattern. Sagunson or uh, numerical. Okay. The odd numbers, one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen. Okay. Those are odd numbers, and there's a certain sequence or arrangement. The even numbers. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, etc. And that last uh, line there, which goes to the second page, okay, the number ahead is, is a product of the previous number multiplied by 2. Okay? So there's a certain pattern. 1 multiplied by 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 8 is 16, 2 times 16 is 32, 2 times 32 is 64. There's a certain sequence based on a rule, okay? So those are number patterns, okay? So that's the things we need to understand about math. At this point, do you have any questions? Just unmute yourself and state your name and state your question. All right? Okay. So number patterns or sequences. Okay. Now there are special <coughs> numbers or sequence which now have become significant. No? Although we did not know it, but they are significant in our lives. Okay. So... The first is the Fibonacci sequence. Okay. What is a Fibonacci sequence? It is a number that is found by adding up the two numbers before it. Okay. So you can see zero. Start off with zero. Zero plus one. The next number is one. So zero plus one is one. Okay. 1 plus 1 becomes 2. 1 plus 2 becomes 3. 2 plus 3 becomes 5. 3 plus 5 becomes 8. 8 plus 5. 5 plus 8 becomes 13. 8 plus 13 becomes 21. And so on and so forth. Okay? So, why is this significant? Why is this significant? Okay. So, Fibonacci sequence, it was not really a... Uh, uh, As Nikki and Jella cook already, they already know what food to cook. <laughs> Wait, I know some of your students, I think. Because I added them. No, no, no. I'm... I'm really very... <coughs> 
other time. Okay, okay. Okay, moving on. I'm sorry. Uh, somebody came over and... <laughs> Okay, moving on. Fibonacci. Who is Fibonacci? It was an Italian in the year 11, uh, in the 11th century. Okay, but whose original name was Leonardo of Pisa. So how come they don't have family names? Okay, in the old days, they don't, they did, uh, people did not originally have uh, family names, but Ultimately, because uh, the number of people increased, they just made a point of reference. So, example, Fibonacci was Leonardo, who was a resident of Pisa. Pisa, P-I-S-A, is a uh, is a uh, like a uh, municipality or municipio. Okay, so his original name was Leonardo. He was from Pisa. Then after a certain number of years, they called him and changed his name to Fibonacci. And this Fibonacci sequence, they, he's the one who actually who did not discover, he, he did not create the number. But he, based on the studies of the old math from other people, he, he exposed it to the world. He discussed it, he showed it to other people, and they all thought that, oh, they all thought it's from him. But based on research, it's probably adopted from Indian, the India of uh, South Asia. They are probably the ones who really discovered it originally, and uh, it got lost. Uh, in the wars and Fibonacci was studying the ancient math and discovered this again. So anyway, Fibonacci. So when he looked back about <coughs> this sequence, he found out that there's, these numbers pertain to patterns in breeding of rabbits, the branching of particular trees, arrangement of leaves, etc. Okay? So, they studied it and studied and for the next hundreds of years, they looked at it again and again and found and right now, those who are in IT or who are studying or who are creating computer programs, okay, they use the Fibonacci sequence in certain ways. No? So, based on nature, they saw the pattern, they converted it into numerical uh, digits, <clears throat> numerical digits, and saw that, oh, they can use it on certain computer programming algorithm on different applications. Okay? So, so no, not the exact computer program, but we have benefited from it. Okay. The golden ratio. The golden ratio is the ratio of one number against the sum of the larger number. Now, there's a certain difficulty, which is why uh, you can see the formula below it. A plus B all over B, okay? And uh, over the years, they have approximated this golden ratio as uh, 1.618033988749, of which B is the higher number. Now, if we can test this theory, so we first with the uh, whole numbers so one plus two over two is 1.5 so it's not the golden ratio yet two plus three over three 1.666 okay then go, uh, trying to be to approach the stated golden ratio number one plus 1 1.6 over 1 1.6 is equal to 1.625 
1.61 all over 1.61 is equal to 1.6211 and then getting more into the figure 1 plus 1.618 all over 1.618 is equal to 1.618 no? so they found they where what is the use of this golden ratio okay the more the architects and engineers and many designers uh, uh, got to know of this golden ratio the more they liked it and the more they used it so it depends on particular engineers or architects but it now is used like uh, in the patterns of buildings the ratio of let's say a standard room or the ratio of let's say a uh, piece of paper there's length and there's width okay i haven't really uh, measured and computed it but oh. the shorter <laughs> what if we measure the sh a piece of paper okay we measure the shorter length against the longer length and maybe we may come up sooner or later with the golden ratio okay so it it's supposed to be used in arts music architecture okay, etc okay. so we found it we used it, we we discovered it we studied it and now it's being used back into nature okay so those that's for the number one of the common patterns which is the number patterns okay there are other ratios or sequences or fixed numbers which are being used uh, worldwide universally but uh, we can we don't need to study all of them we just need to know that there are certain numbers no which were studied from nature and which are being used to design and to create things okay so the term is uh, like giving back to nature okay di uli na to ang atong natun-an sa nature right okay so moving on geomet geometric pattern it's a pattern or form of sequences of lines and curves form geometric shapes and figures okay so one of the easier ways to understand why this is significant is uh, when you look at the figure below. Take a look at the the figure below the words geometric pattern. Those are made of lines and curves. Okay? They become circles. They become six-sided polygons. Okay? And some you can see them in designs of tiles designs of uh, prints in shirts or blouses or clothes etc okay so they are all copied from nature they are made into designs going back to nature okay all right so moving on so what what other forms of uh, mathematics in nature the shapes or the forma common shapes that we see in nature the sphere or a ball okay the cone like an ice cream cone what you see is an inverted cone okay another common shape uh, the square based pyramid okay we all have heard of the pyramids or the giant shapes in Egypt, okay? The square base pyramid, the triangular prism, the hexagonal prism, the cube, and the cylinder. And they have the certain characteristics on that are written on the right side. <coughs> the number of they have the number of edges and the number of vertices or vertex it's only one okay 
Number of uh, vertex or vertices are the tip of the intersection. Is the vertex. Okay? So in cones, there's only one vertex. Okay? In pyramids. But in other shapes, in circle, no vertex. In uh, cubes, there's eight intersections. There's six faces, 12 edges, and eight intersections. So they are now called the vertexes. Vertices, right? So mathematics in nature, another is the concept is the symmetry. The balance between the left and the right. Okay. So example, you can see there, there's a photo of a butterfly. Okay. The symmetry is because it's like a mirror image wherein one side is the same, almost the same as the other side. A mirror image. Okay. Salamin. The radial symmetry in which... Uh, the lines, the center point or the center lines are drawn from the center of a round figure. Okay? The radial symmetry. Okay? Uh, other patterns? Okay? Patterns uh, uh, patterns in nature, example, uh, uh, the stripes of a uh, zebra, the spots of maybe a dog or other certain cat animals, no? Uh, they are developed, they develop by themselves, so they are, the term is they are self-organizing. Huh? It's just like they grow, they push, and they grow. Okay? Yeah, ang, ano? uh, uh, like the stripes, they move, they grow one on top of the other. Why? Because of the simple rule that they just create stripes one on top of the other. They are simple rules. Okay? And they are self-organized. So each, example, each zebra does not exact, does not need to have the exact stripes as another zebra. By listen? Okay. So, but they're just based on a rule that they <laughs> are striped in a zebra and they just grow one on top of the other. The numbers <laughs> not, the number of stripes has Jeez, not been defined so, because their rules are blur. Okay? So they are called self-organized. <laughs> other patterns are the invoked or demandar, okay, predetermined rules. So, uh, the flakes of a uh, uh, a piece of snow, the snowflake is six-sided. Okay, they are fixed. They are predetermined rules. They cannot add another side because nature says there's only six sides. Okay. The rainbow, how many how many colors are there in a rainbow? Six or seven or eight? Okay. It depends on how well you really can view or look at a rainbow. But their fixed number of uh, uh, colors in a rainbow. Okay. So they're predetermined rules. So they are the term of the pattern is uh, they are invoked organizations no so you can see those other photos no they are all invoked na a preset or predetermined rules on how they should look like okay. how does the above knowledge help you get rich we will know on the other upcoming lesson okay so it's now 7 o'clock. I must end this session because I have another class. Okay. So uh, for those who have not yet uh, submitted, please submit your finished uh, quiz. Then I will check them and give you the results next time.
Uh, maybe later in the week. Okay. So with, with that, I have to say good night. And uh, I will see you tomorrow. Okay, sir. Good night, sir. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good sir. Good night. 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 By the way, thank you for watching. I love you all, guys.